Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with the Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. Are you sleep deprived? Do you know? <laughs> um, sadly, lots of us have become sleep deprived. We're just not getting enough sleep. And it seems to be a global epidemic. It's not just here in the US, but it's everywhere. Um, about, let's see, years ago, two to three percent slept less than six hours a night. Now it's 10 times as many people who only sleep a short period at night. Um, and now we found that twice as many people are dying in auto crashes due to sleep deprivation than died in 9-11. Oh my gosh. This is getting serious, right? Um, and 60,000 people are gaining weight because they're not getting enough sleep. Because what happens when you don't get enough sleep is your brain kind of goes in starvation mode. So we need to get our sleep. I cannot stress enough how important sleep is to your overall health. That's why I talk about it relatively frequently along with diet, because those things are the things that can make such a huge difference. So what can be keeping you from getting enough sleep? Why are you deprived if you are? Well, our phone is one reason, okay? And if you go to sleep with your phone beside you, then that phone is kind of working in your brain all night. You're better off, turn it off, put it in a drawer, put it in another room, just get it out of your brain sphere, okay, so that you can concentrate on sleep. Alcohol, caffeine, both of those things can stimulate you and make it very hard to go to sleep. And it can also um, impact the quality of your sleep. When you are sleepy, you may not be getting really deep, good rest. Exercise can help, but not close to bedtime. <laughs> But if you've been active during the day, it's usually a little easier to fall asleep. Other things that people have to deal with. This one's interesting. If you meditate more than 30 minutes, five times a week, you're going to have trouble falling asleep. I don't know why, <laughs> but I thought I'd share it with you. That's a fact. Um, and also, if you have anxiety, depression, anything like that, it makes it really hard to fall asleep. Late night eating, we've talked about this before. It makes it very difficult for you to fall asleep and to get that restful stage of sleep that helps you to wake up feeling refreshed. Um, your body keeps working when you eat, especially a meal. When you eat a meal late, your body has to keep working. It can't rest like it's supposed to. Um, heartburn, you lay down, you eat a meal late, you lay down to go to sleep, and guess what? Gravity is no longer holding that food in your stomach, and now it starts to creep up your throat. Heartburn. Nasty. Okay? That's a bad result as well, and will keep you from falling asleep. How about snacking at night? This actually is not quite as bad if you have a small snack compared to a meal, okay? But you want it to be a nutritious, small, nutritious and um, not high energy food, low energy food, just something, little something to carry, especially diabetics often have problem with morning sugars and you need a late night snack. Just be cautious of what it is that you eat and how much. So how do we fall asleep? How do we get past all the stuff, right? All the things, what do we do? Well, we have a quiet bedroom. If you like something to help you fall asleep, maybe some calm music, but low, calm music. Um, find something to focus on, okay? Maybe it's a mantra, it's a picture, it's a, um, uh, a phrase or counting sheep, <laughs> but focus on something and that will help your mind close in and get ready to go to sleep. But accept the fact that your mind may wander and you have to keep drawing it back in, but keep doing it so that you can finally get a good night's sleep. Get in a comfortable position. You know, don't snuggle it and make sure you're feeling really comfy because that'll help you to fall asleep as well. And the biggie for most of us, I think, is to turn off all your devices at least an hour before you want to go to sleep. Your brain has got to 
process everything and be ready to go to sleep. You know, your brain knows when it's time to go to sleep. If, if you always have a quiet room, a dark room, a cool room, and every time you get in your bed, it's to go to sleep, and guess what? Your body is, and your mind is trained. Okay, I'm in this room, I'm in the bed, it's time to go to sleep. Routine will help you a lot. So I know it's really tough in this world for us to get enough sleep, and it's a really, really big problem for a lot of people. So try to figure out those things I talked about, anything else you can think of that is causing you, you know, stress, anxiety, that can cause you not to be able to fall asleep as easily, but try to pinpoint the cause, because if you can pinpoint the cause, then perhaps you can change the circumstance so that you can start getting proper rest. You might think, okay, well, I'm not so tired, even though I didn't sleep as long as I usually used to or should, but it's affecting you. It's affecting you a lot, and over time, it will affect you dramatically. Sleep is absolutely necessary to good health and we're talking here about getting and staying healthy so sleep becomes a huge priority think about all i've said hope it helps you please share this message please subscribe wherever you're listening i appreciate that very much appreciate you being here hope i found you safe hope i found you well and you know i always hope i find you happy this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. Bye-bye.